to keep y'all head up in life, man, because sometimes this life, it gets difficult. You know, it's just a hard road. You try to do things, and sometimes it don't quite work out. Like, I remember I saved up for some down payment. I tried to buy a house. And I don't know if I was too demanding or what, but I went in, I kicked in the door. I'm like, look, I want some low maintenance land, something I can afford. I prefer to stay in a white neighborhood because I believe it's safer. <laughs> I just want to live in a community where I can move in and ha not have my white neighbors move out. <laughs> so they ran my credit and took me to a cemetery. <laughs> the only way. I see people here dating, they with dates and stuff. I notice something, the more intimate you are with somebody, the more you start to notice stuff about them that might, you know, throw you off. Like I remember when me and my girl, we was first making out, we was kissing, we was going at it, and we was close. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, dang baby, you look just like your daddy. <laughs> I got nervous, I bad dog started talking sports. Like, you think the Lakers gonna go all the way this year? <laughs> Who you think the Raiders gonna pick up? That stuff I go through. I don't watch too much TV. I just get like DVDs when they come out and I ran across some of my friends old DVDs and I saw this movie Chronicles of Narnia. Y'all saw The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Man, for those who don't know, this movie is about some kids who lock themselves in a closet and end up in some strange land. So with my imagination, I'm like, man, I gotta try this. So I go in the closet, boom, I close the door. I'm backing up. I see some dirty drawers. I mean, but, uh, <laughs> next thing I know, I start to hear snow. I'm feeling it under my feet. I feel a cool breeze. Snow drops falling on my face. Yeah, that's snow. And I'm starting to get nervous and I'm backing up. And I bump into somebody and I turn and look and I notice it's the guy from the movie because he got on no shirt and a red throw scarf. So I get excited. I'm like, oh, Mr. Tumblers, what's going on, pimp? I'll let your boy give me a five. And he grabbed my hand, kissed it, and licked it. I observed back, like, oh. Man, what you doing? Y'all got some strange customs here in Narnia. Then he put his arms around me and whispered in my ear, Narnia's over there between those two peaks. You're on Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> 